260, take one. One kick. This one is for change my life. Inmates. Five years after conceiving the idea for the film Lockdown, the story which resonates with the present reality of the coronavirus pandemic has propelled box office hit-making director Moses Iwang to set the camera rolling for the flick. It was a story I conceived there then at that time and then um, um, for me it was 100% um, fiction, you know, but then uh, along the line, there's a there's a true life story that we all know that I wanted to infuse, you know, some of the 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 happenings around that story into the fiction that I already had, you know. And uh, yes, I think a fine blend of that is what we have right now. We were about to kick off, you know, and then the lockdown came and locked us down from shooting lockdown. You know, a lot had been done. <coughs> Some of the actors had been um, contracted and co contacted and contracted. And, you know, we were, we, were, we were very excited about the project back then, you know, before the lockdown came. So after the lockdown, we just um, sort of picked up from where we stopped, um, got in all some other actors, got in key crew and got in all the equipment and we we and then day one day two day two or today i think today is day 14 we've been <coughs> trying to get this film made the movie tells the story of a tech savvy guy on his court wedding day found himself quarantined in a hospital with some other persons for some weeks and eventually got emotionally entangled with another lady the movie has a lot of different characters there are different colors of people inside Imagine having, okay, let me give you an instance. Imagine this house now. There's something going on. There's a war or there's some kind of disease outside and you're locked inside here and you have someone like a dangote here. By mistake, maybe he just came in to meet someone upstairs, a CEO, and you just came here to deliver a package and then there's a cleaner who is trying to clean the place and then there's this street boy who just won a lottery and he just came here to quickly check. He cut, he cut himself and this is supposed to be maybe like a hospital. Imagine all this colors of people in one place. What do you think is going to happen? To be crazy. So you're going to have colors of people in one place exchanging banters, their story life, everything. So a dose of humanity, of course, a good laugh once in a while and beautiful faces. Veteran Nollywood actor Tony Umez, who played the character named Mr. Martin, speaks about his role <laughs> and the relevance of the story. I'm playing Mr. Martins in the movie Lockdown. Mr. Martin is is not a happy person because of course the wife has um, cancer, lung cancer, stage four, which of course is terminal. Okay, and he's not happy. He, he doesn't know why things like that should even happen to him. And he became very embittered when he got enmeshed in this holovirus thing, you know, at the hospital there, became very embittered. So basically the character is an intense one, very intense. And um, that's about the size of it. Ordinarily, um, our Hollywood movies are basically entertaining, educative, and instructive. This movie is, like the other interview, is, is a bomb. It's awesome in terms of the language, in terms of the act, and the crew is also mm, blow. The thing is, um, it's like, you know, it's similar to when Ebola came into the country. So you see the travails, the trauma that the people passed through, that the government also passed through in trying to contain it. So it's, it's, it's a form of history too for you. You understand, you can pick, up, pick the thing up, watch it and tell yourself that, okay, you have an inkling of what transpired when Ebola came in, you know, and the plot is so beautiful, you know, where from seemingly um, disconnected whatever, they converge at the hospital. And that's where the whole drama t takes place. So if you go watch this movie, you're going to learn a lot about how to, you know, keep yourself safe from diseases anyway. When they come, you know, um, there's this isolation thing there too. Or you keep, when, when you contract, just like this COVID-19 that we're doing now, when they contract you, you stay away from other people. You know, even if you are asymptomatic, what you do is you help yourself to help others. The star-studded movie also features Omotala Jalade Kainde 
in the demo of Koje, Charles Awurum, Shola Shobowale, Nobut Young, Peter of P Square, among others.